Okay, uh, we meet again. We meet again in uh, our online class. Okay, this time we will discuss about some calculation example in chapter one. Uh, particularly in the topic of uh, noise. Okay. Okay, let's see the example. Okay. Noise interference and distortion. Noise interference. Noise is unwanted signal. Noise is unwanted signal. Uh, coincide with the desired signal. There are two types of noise. Internal and external noise. So internal noise is caused by internal devices or components in the circuit. Internal devices or components. And external noise is noise that is generated outside the circuit. For example, atmospheric noise, solar, cosmic, man-made noise, etc. Okay, so there are two types of noise, internal and external. Okay. So... It, Noise temperature, okay, because there is example for the topic of noise temperature. Noise temperature can be, is, is considered as thermal noise, okay. Thermal noise, the noise due to temperature, thermal, is directly proportional to the temperature and can be expressed in degrees or watts or volts. Okay, using this equation, P equal to KTB. So what is this? P is the noise. Okay, noise in what? K is the constant, the Boltzmann, Boltzmann constant. T is the temperature in K, Kelvin. Okay, temperature in unit Kelvin. So how you get you calculate the unit the temperature in unit Kelvin? Basically, temperature in Kelvin equal to temperature in degree C plus two seven three Kelvin. So you get temperature in Kelvin. For example, twenty. 5 degrees C equal to 25 plus 273 equal to 298 Kelvin. Okay, this is uh, sometimes is called room temperature. Okay, B is the bandwidth of the system in Hertz. So you know K, T, B, and you got this value in watts p in watts okay so you need to remember this equation it might not be given okay example a resistor at a temperature of 25 degrees c so this is temperature in degree celsius is degree celsius is connected across the input of an amplifier with bandwidth of 50 kilohertz so this is the b how much noise does the resistor supply to the input of the amplifier how much noise what noise is this hmm. so this is the thermal noise because it is related to temperature so First, we have to convert the temperature to Kelvin. Temperature from degree Celsius. Degree Celsius to Kelvin. 
okay so you know that temperature in kelvin is temperature in celsius plus 273 so blah 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 so you got 298 kelvin so insert into the equation k is the constant this is the constant t is the temperature b is the the bandwidth okay what is that uh Okay, so this is uh, some kind of error, okay? Typo, uh, it's not like this. Basically, it is go to 1.38 to the power of 10 minus 23. This is K, 298, about 50. Kilo. So 50 kilo can write it like, yeah, you can write 50, 10, 3. Okay, so this is this one. Only book calculator. Can you use your calculator to calculate this? Okay. Take off your calculator. 1.38. Uh, minus, minus 23 okay multiply by two nine eight apply by fifty exponential three equal to hmm, two point zero five six two so my calculation using my uh my calculator get two point zero five six two to the power of minus sixteen what so this is minus this is basically minus uh, 0 0.21 minus 15. So this is M2. Okay. Understand? Eh? So the answer is correct. Okay, next, exercise one, domestic television receive antenna delivers a sky noise power of minus 10 of 105 dBn to match coercion feeder frequency bandwidth of 8 MHz. Find the antenna noise temperature. So you still can use the equation. Okay. Pn equal to so Pn equal to K T B so you got K E B is already given T e, temperature you need to solve this equation okay okay now the next topic is SNR. This is important. SNR. 
signal to noise ratio s n r signal to noise ratio overall it is not the level of noise that is the interest of the system but the ratio of the signal to the noise power the ratio of the signal to the noise the ratio of the signal power to noise power okay this signal to noise ratio is usually expressed in decibel it's one of the most important characteristic in communication system so what is signal to noise signal to noise ratio is s over n signal to noise ratio so power of the signal over power of the noise okay so in db log and this one so because of this is already in power so it it use 10 okay so in db signal to noise ratio in db signals to noise ratio in db equal to 10 log p signal over p noise okay p signal over p noise okay so it always uh, signal over noise example an amplifier has output signal say see this is signal p s equal to 10 and output noise power of power of noise okay 0 0.01 pn 0 0.01 so make sure the unit is the same huh? the unit should be in the same unit if you have watt then it should be both in watt if one in milliwatt then both should be converted into milliwatt so before you ratio make the ratio determine the signal to noise ratio okay so s n r db equal to 10 so 10 I remember 10 because power log p signal over p noise equal to 10 10 over so log huh? sorry so uh, 10 log 10 over 0 0.0 0 0.01 okay so take your calculator you need to to uh, uh, be able to calculate this using your calculator okay first uh, some calculator you can straight away put into the equation 10 log 10 over 0 0.01 okay Sorry, point zero, point zero one, not point one. Uh, see, at the typo. Point zero one. Okay, so you get straight away. Your answer is thirty. Thirty. The unit is dB. Okay. Next noise figure. Okay, this is also important in the test okay this topic noise figure noise figure since thermal noise is produced by all conductors and active devices it follows that any stage in communication system will will add noise so you will have noise noise factor in ratio and noise figure in db are figures of merit 
indicating how much a component stage or series of stages degrades the signal to noise ratio in the system. So noise figure related to signal to noise. Signal to noise ratio. In other words, F and NF, F is noise factor and S is noise figure. Shows how much signal to noise ratio, SNR, degrades as a signal passed through a circuit. Ratio of SNR at input. So ratio of SNR at input. So you have the SNR to, you have SNR at input to SNR output of a circuit. is known as, so is known as noise figure. Okay. Noise figure is the ratio. So noise figure is the ratio of SNR at the input. Basically, SNR is what? SNR is P signal over P noise. Input over SNR at the output. So, as, as so ni input, ni output. Output kita ada PS also PN at output. So, this ratio is known as noise figure. Okay. SNR is ratio of signal power S to noise power. S to noise power N. Okay. So, ini kita dah tahu. S, PS just now. PS over PN. Okay. Now, dia tulis S over N. S is the signal, N is the noise. Okay, noise factor. So now, S is the signal, N is the noise. So, noise factor is ratio of this value, out input over output. Right, output over input ke, input over output. So, ratio of S at input. Input over output. So, ini ialah noise figure. Okay. So, so figure, sorry, noise factor. So, this is noise factor. F. Okay. So, noise factor F. Okay, noise factor F. Noise figure baru N, F. So, noise factor is S. Input over noise input over S output over N output. So, this is called uh, SNR. Eh? You, can, you can write SNR input over SNR output. Because of this is S over N. And this is also S over N. So this is output. This is input. Okay. This is called noise factor. 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 Okay. Noise figure is. Noise figure is. Log 10 log of this. Noise factor. So 10 log. F is this part and this is the unit dB. Okay, I hope we can we can differentiate between noise factor F and noise figure and F. Okay. So another one is we have equivalent noise temperature. Equivalent noise temperature TE temperature equivalent is a hypothetical value used to indicate thermal noise. Okay, so you have thermal noise. Where T is the environmental temperature at 290 
Kelvin. F is the noise factor. So you still remember this, eh? noise factor. TE is often used in low noise, sophisticated radio receiver rather than noise figure. So instead of noise figure, we can express the noise temperature in terms of TE. TE equivalent noise temperature example. Okay, now you have this equation. Okay, let's recap. Determine the noise figure for an equivalent noise temperature. So you have this term. Equivalent noise temperature, TE. So you can use this equation. Okay. This one I think you need to remember as well. If it if the question asks about noise temperature, so it will relate to this TE. So TE using this equation. What is this? T is the equivalent uh, noise temperature. T uh, T is the reference temperature two ninety right. T is barometer temperature at two ninety Kelvin. So T is the constant. T is the constant. F the noise figure. Okay. Minus one. So rearrange the equation because we need to determine the noise figure F. So F is rearrange this equation. You get F equal to one plus T E over T. So TE at temperature 75K. Solving this equation, F is sorry, F noise figure is this one. F is noise factor. So, fact, noise factor is using this equation. You get this. K1 plus this one. So noise factor is 10 log F. Okay. Solving this, log 1.258 is 0 0.999 multiplied by 10 is, you got 1 dB. Okay. Okay, you need to calculate using your calculator eh, in order to get this value. Take out your calculator and do the calculation. Okay, next next example is determine equivalent noise temperature. So this, this is noise figure. So noise figure is, noise figure is in dB. Eh? So noise figure is in dB. Okay, let's see again. Okay, here we have noise figure in dB. Noise factor is the ratio. So, this question asks about, this question is related to noise figure. Determine the equivalent noise temperature. This is TE. Noise figure, so you need to for, to remember this equation of 6 dB, okay, given is 6, use 290 K Kelvin for reference temperature. So this value is 290, so you need to calculate this one. F is, so this, this, this is F. F is anti log 6 over 10 or 2 4. Can you, can you uh, take your calculator? What is the, what is the actual value of anti log 6? What is this actually? In your calculator, how you write this? This is.
Okay, to the power of 0 0.6. So you write this in your calculator. 10 to the power of this is uh, 0 0.6, right? So 10 to the power of 0 0.6 become 3.98. So here 293.98 minus 1. So become minus 1. 2.981 multiply by 290. So you get 864.5 Kelvin. Okay. So make sure you you using your calculator and always take two decimal point for your answer. So if in column you might see this question, I might uh, you you might have different value here. Instead of six, maybe you can eight, ten, whatever. And uh, maybe this value also change. Instead of 290, you might use 300 Kelvin or reference temperature. Okay. So, so you will get different, different value. So you might answer in the, in the answer box. So answer is given TE equal to like this, Kelvin. So you need to answer A. 64.5 Kelvin. If you if you write 870 Kelvin, then wrong. Okay. Normally, I'll give uh, plus minus one uh, percent maybe. So if like this, maybe if you write 870, still correct lah. Okay, 1% is 8, right? Eight. So, so it, it is uh, between, your answer should be between 8, sorry. Uh, your answer should be between 8, 64, plus minus 1%. So it could be eight fifty fifty six up to eight seventy seventy two. I like this. If you answer in between this, then should be no problem. Okay. Example three. The input signal of a communication receiver consists of hundred micro watt of signal power and one micro watt noise power the receiver contribute to additional 80 micro watt of noise in d and has power gain of 20 db so calculate input snr output snr you still remember uh, s n r i over s n r Oh, this one is output. So noise figure is this one. Noise figure, noise figure, noise factor. Which one? Okay, the answer is given. Input SNR SI over NI equal to. So given to you this value. Input S SI. So SI equal to this one, 100 micro watt noise power. So this is SN, 
one micro watt okay so 100 over one micro watt this is micro watt micro watt so you get the 100 so input SNR in DB 10 log 100 this value so you get 20 DB the output noise power internal noise plus amplified noise so n out is n d plus a p n i this is the equation eh? so this is equation given in the text so this uh, output this is uh, input eh? amplified input noise input noise This is input noise. Divide hundred times this one. Hundred times. So this is a amplify the input plus the this is might be internal noise. So this is internal noise. So become this one point eight ten to the power of minus four watt. Okay, the output signal power amplified input signal. So S out is APSI 100 multiplied by input this one 100 milli 100 oh, sorry 100 micro watt. So you get this output SNR is S out over N out. So, get this and output SNR equal to 10, lock this one. So, you got this dp. Noise figure. Noise figure is in dB. 10 log input SNR over output SNR. So, this is 100 and this is. 50.56 10 log of this so you get 2.55 dB okay you need to calculate now make sure you calculate using your calculator so this is very nice question this is the this is this example example 3 is very nice the the, the question is is uh, quite short but there are a few steps in calculating yeah? in calculation so you might see here this is 100 micro watt 1 micro watt 80 micro watt 20 db so if i use this equation this this example as the question so you might have different value this the question is same but the value is different this value this value this value this value and you need to calculate all this one two three input snr output snr and the receiver noise so you can use this step you can follow these steps in order to answer the question okay this one is size also, so you can try, you can try. Okay, I think that's all for this time. Uh, hope you can understand some of the example, the way to calculate, and how it get the answer. So make sure, use your calculator, make sure you can, you can use your calculator and you can get the answer. Of course, the the same question is is not going to be uh, appear in the column but the same question with different value so you need to be able to calculate on your own okay i think that that's all
Okay, uh, I think that is all. Hope you can understand a little bit in terms of the example and calculation. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.